felons on hardcore pawn. Hey, what's up, bud? I'm looking to pawn these uh, microphones I picked up from a concert. Nice. They just threw them out in the crowd. So at what point did they actually take this off of the, the rack? No, I got Zip them. it up and then threw it out there. Really? Really? Hold on, keep an eye on him. Not one time have I seen a performer throw a mic out into the crowd. The following customer was looking to pawn some microphones he claims he got during a concert. From the start, this customer's story just made no sense and Rich knew that something was up. It looks like these microphones are stolen. I'm not 100% sure. I'm from American Jewelry. I have a gentleman down here. Are you missing some? Exactly, I've got them. The club owner's on his way down now to see if these really are his mics. Yeah. He's got these microphones. He's telling me this bull story about how he got these. Keep them here as long as I can till we get this thing all sorted out, all right? Go do it. Ash, call the cops. Rich had that gut feeling that told him that these microphones were stolen. When he called all of his musician friends, they reported that they have indeed had microphones go missing recently. Rich proceeds to call the cops on the customer. Hi, uh, we have stolen merchandise. They're on the way. The plot thickens. Kid comes in with some cordless mics. The club manager's on his way down here. How much were you looking for? 100 bucks a piece, if possible. How about 75. You got your ID with you? Uh, no. What's sound like? Better wait for my face. <laughs> Rich needed to do everything in his power to prevent the customer from leaving the store. Rich attempts to stall the customer, but that's when he reveals that he had no ID, which just made things much harder for the authorities and Rich. I really wanted to punch this freaking kid right in the face. The club manager and the cops get here. Who the f are these kids now? Are these his friends? How you doing, man? Good, what's up? How you doing? Good. Last night, somebody slid in under a cage that we had. So we're waiting for the police to come. Okay. Oh, they're leaving. You can't leave. The cops told us to hold you here. Things take a wild turn as all of a sudden, a bunch of teenagers swarm into the store and are friends of the customer. That's when the club manager shows up and he confirms that the customer indeed had his microphone and things got hectic. Cops are coming. Well, they can wait. Why do we gotta stay? We all gotta stay. Until we know what's going on, that's the way it's gonna be. So if you want to have a seat until the cops get here. I want to punch every one of these suckers surrounding me. I am rich. This gentleman is from where the stuff was stolen last night. These guys this said gentleman, that yeah, they came in. The, the guy with the... Black He's got the black hat on. The customers and his crew attempted to make an escape to the exit, but Les was able to stop them. In no time, the police showed up to investigate what was really going on. Rich informed the police of the situation and they acted accordingly. Thank you guys. My pleasure. Uh, so happy. Good to call him out, for sure. He's on the right track. Good work okay. today. Really. Thank you. Good work. The cops rightfully arrested this customer for stealing these microphones. Let's just say this customer will have to learn the hard way to never steal again. Les was very proud of Rich for taking initiative and doing what's right for the store. Car robbery. Les. Hey, Les. Yeah. Somebody outside breaking into the car. Now? Yeah. Caught him. yeah. This girl breaking into a car. We're not going to allow stuff like that to happen in our parking lot. Are you kidding me? We just steal out of it. Where are you from? I'm from Detroit. Out of the blue, security rushes to Les to report a car theft that was happening outside in the parking lot. This teenager was the one who was breaking into people's cars, and security brought her to Les. Les wasn't going to allow this to happen. Get up here. You can? Why are you going to jail? Because the only way you're going to ever learn not to break into cars, especially in my f lot. Hey, where are you? What made you break in the car? The customer claims she didn't steal anything from the cars, but Les still wasn't going to let this slide and wanted to press charges against her. Right when everyone thought it was over, another car was being broken into out in the parking lot. Who's is it? He was breaking into cars in our parking lot. He hit her car bag enough. He done wrecked their car and he went through all the cars through this but She was going through all these cars. Somebody broke into somebody's car. I need the police out here as soon as possible. This time around, it was this dude with red hair who was breaking into people's cars, and the two were clearly working together in an attempt to steal the shop. That's when Les truly had enough and had the police called right on the spot. Well, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> It looked like this girl was gonna have a heart attack. We know that this guy was with her. I opened the door and they came and got me. And we're pressing charges to the fullest extent. My customers are not gonna be not protected. That's right. That's right. Okay? 
This dude just had no shame and kept saying that he did nothing wrong even though he literally got caught red-handed breaking into other people's cars. Les did not hold back and pressed charges to the fullest extent to ensure this never happens again. We caught uh, two of them breaking into cars. We got them. Here's one of them, here's the other one. Then you have these two thieves taking complete advantage of them. We do not allow going into our customers' cars. We're f***ing with you. That's how we roll. This was beyond messed up, as most people who come to the pawn shop are people in need who need extra funds, and it was infuriating seeing these two thieves just taking complete advantage of other people, but they were promptly arrested. The fraud. What the f*** is this? No, what's wrong? What is this? You got me out here looking for all these TVs. Hold on, man. What are you looking for? I like variety, man. Variety is the spice of life. All promoting that y'all get big boy TVs. I told my kids to restock the shelf. We've been moving products so quick. Hold on, quick. man. Hold on. There's nothing here, babe. The following customer starts getting very upset after the shop didn't restock their TVs. Les was pretty upset since this would have been prevented if his kids restocked the TVs like they were told to do. Now Les has to deal with all of this. Feel like I'm in a flea market or something, man. What the Then maybe I could help him. Then I tell him to call you back anyway. This is the best y'all could do. You know what y'all should do? Get some bigger TVs in here or something, man. What the is this, man? You know what I mean? And then you got your bodyguard right. I, I wouldn't touch I wouldn't touch him. Big boy. The customer did not hold back and started to get extremely aggressive towards Les who was just trying to help him. The customer was getting a bit too loud and security was on standby to prevent the customer from doing something crazy. It's time to go. I just throw up bro, all my life. Let's go, my man. I right, get back. Let's go. go. I right, get back. It's time to go. You want your phone back? Phone, man. Calm down, bro. Calm this down. Because no, I don't want your ass back here. Les was just beyond sick and tired of everyone messing with him, and that's when he called security to kick him out. Things got extremely hectic as the customer damaged store property and quite literally got thrown out of the shop by the security. No cash refunds. Don't make no damn sense. I'm full of What the f wrong with this place? Who do I talk to? First of all, Matt came in here, picked out a ring. I won't get my money back. I want my money back. Your receipt? Yes, I got my damn receipt. It says Get no it cash refund. Yeah. This woman walks into the store, cursing up a storm like nobody's business, demanding her money back, and like the seasoned professional she is, calmly ask her for a receipt. If you put money down on a layaway, we don't do refunds. They printed it up on that computer over there, am I correct? There's no refunds. So? To make payments. I don't want to make no payments. The matter is as simple as this. The crazy lady wants a cash refund instead of store credit. I just want my refund. Can I get my damn refund? And I'm not in the mood. I don't want to hear it. Or you can act like a lady. The customer is always right. She can leave. I want no way now. <laughs> oh, you can leave. I get my later. Damn. None of us could have seen this coming. A fully grown woman absolutely losing her shit over a refund, like a textbook Karen. And Ashley still holds her ground, and you can see she's had years of experience dealing with crazies like her. PS3 for bail. What you could get me on a loan for the PS3? To get my brother out of jail. Cop just stopped us because one of our lights were off in the back of our break. This is a warrant that I guess they didn't take it out of his record yet. I'm gonna go turn it on. See if it works, and I'll be right back. He's gonna end up being moved to Wayne County Jail by before fours. I can do 90 for you. Can't do it for 100? 100, mama. I can't. 100. This excited pair thinks they have it all figured out. Pawn a PS3, get the money, and bail this dude's brother, the snarky girl's boyfriend, right out of jail. Quick and easy. In and out, right? Well, not quite. I normally would have given $80 on this game unit. I'm trying to help you out here. It's not my fault your boyfriend went to jail. I'm really sorry for all your stuff that you're going through. I got to look at the piece and know what I can sell it for. I'll just have your money for At that counter? After this, I don't know what's going to happen. But too bad I couldn't help her out because I wanted to help her. I hope she can find the money somewhere. Ashley, with her big soft heart, tries to make as much wiggle room as she can, but it seems that the pair were expecting way more than what she generously offers. I mean, the dude literally tried to bargain even further. Fool's gold. I'm a jewelry salesman at American Jewelry and Loan. Nothing here is new to me or unusual. Bill is much older than I am. I give him every day. What can I do for you? I have this ring. Okay. What you looking to get? Whatever you give. Head over heels for some guy. He actually pulls a, he pulls a, 
a shotgun. I got out, but I, f I figured that I'm lucky because I got out. This sweet and strong young lady comes in with her heroic tale of leaving an abusive ex behind and wants to sell his ring for whatever the shop will give her. And she's met with a pawn shop employee who's just as sweet and soft-spoken. Get back to this, because this is not gold, and it's really worth nothing. I just felt like there was another thing that my ex-boyfriend lied about. Taken even. He lied about the person he was. I don't need anybody that's fake in my life, so he's gone. This sweet old man may not have any money to offer her, but he does let her go with one valuable piece of advice that she follows immediately. You go, girl. You don't need a worthless lying man to bring you down. DVD rental. Hey, man, I need some service over here, man. Man, what's yeah, up? Yeah, can't help you. I'm about to buy five DVDs. Don't none of the work for yeah, zero Y'all got to do something about the deal, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That's... You think that we're a video rental agency? Can I get my money? You know what I'm saying? That's dumb. You let's see. Let's see. Let's see whether it works or not. If you're an avid, hardcore pawn watcher, you'll know right off the bat that this annoyed customer is going to be a difficult one right as he walks in, talking up a big game to distract the employees. So I give him the benefit of the doubt. It looks like it's working to me. They don't work. Something gonna shake, man. Y'all got yeah, me, man. Yeah, you're gonna shake out board. of here. That you were watching and you're trying to return them on me, right. and it's not gonna work. It's a pawn shop. Did this guy really not think that they're going to have a ton of DVD players just lying around to check if he's lying? And lo and behold, he is lying. Ass though, man. Man, this though, dog. I think I'll be standing right here causing the scene, though, about this. All right. It then, dog. It ain't gonna happen, man. It's not gonna it's happen. It's not gonna happen. Dog. Y'all gonna hear from me again. And of course, just like every other rowdy client, this one doesn't leave without causing a stink either. I mean, this guy is relentless, and he thinks that him threatening not to come back to the pawn shop is doing to displease the staff. Broken TV. Can I get some help up in here? Can I get some help? What you got, sir? Got my ticket right here. I've been waiting on my TV. This guy says he's been waiting an hour for his TV. What the f is this? Now this one starts off with just another day at American Jewelry and Loan. Another rowdy customer causing a big scene over nothing. This is how our staff leaves the sh I know this TV wasn't broken this morning. Luckily, this guy's TV wasn't broken. Thank you very much. I have security cameras all around the warehouse. Some just broke a TV and stuck it on one of our shelves. This is totally unacceptable. But thankfully, Les finds that this dude's TV isn't the one that's broken. That doesn't take anything away from the fact that someone broke a pawn TV, though. I'm on the phone. Hell no, tell me that's, tell me that's not true. You ain't supposed to be talking to me like that either. Who the hell you think you talking to? Yeah, yes, I'm talking to you. Ma'am. You know what, excuse me, I'm on the phone. I know, but you you're know, No, uh, I'm not, I'm excuse hold me. on, hold on. No, I'm in the store, some lady walking up excuse on me like, Ma'am, okay, well, I can't have you screaming like that, so what do you uh, want me to you do? You know what, you know what, miss, get somebody to help me, please. What do you need help with? I need some help with my ring. What a way to make your presence known. This woman puts on a show as she yells at someone over the phone right in the middle of the shop. But someone, when Ashley comes up to her, she's invading her privacy. This one is going to be a tough cookie, and we can all already feel it. I want me to help you. I, don't walk up I on can me. Help. Or else what? Keep walking to find out. Can somebody else help me? Because you Ma'am, I can what? help you. All right, f*** that. Ma'am? Don't follow me no more. All the motherfucking times I've been coming in here giving y'all my motherfucking I told you I could. I bet you better be careful. I I'm going to be the one that's hitting you. When she finally gets off the phone, she makes it known that she requires assistance, but far be it from her to accept it when Ashley offers it to her. This rude woman now only wants to be helped by someone else. Call the police. Motherfucker sold my that $5,000 worth of equipment. Yo, look. You gonna what? Do to me. Watch your Get your hand out of my Tell him you ain't supposed to touch me. When you start threatening me, it's time to go. Damn was past doing he threw his hand in my face. I don't know if he's gonna hit me. This man does not waste any time letting his grievances be known at American Jewelry and Loan. He wants money for his expired pawn and he wants it now. Shut up. Kill me, mother. All the cops. Who you gonna kill, huh? Who you gonna kill, huh? Who you gonna kill? I got every right to be pissed. Stop. All the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. I have a threat up here at American Jewelry. We are not gonna allow anyone threaten our life. Nobody. And it doesn't just stop when he's out. This dude's threat started to get more serious, and now hands are being thrown. Les, being the calm and rational man he is, promptly orders for the cops to be called because this is starting to become a matter for the justice system. He had a pawn that expired. My security guard came in and started escorting him out. But I'm threatening, I'm gonna kill you. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting. We gonna walk you out. I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. This has been a crazy day. But as it turns out, 
Angry men have hearts, too. The police come in and ask questions about what happened, and the angry customer explains his perspective. I want my TV. That's taking all day. I got Where it. Where you go with my TV? $35 TV. No, no, no. Yeah? It says 19 The flash screen. I'm not taking this home. $35. Where's your what? payment, man? Why are you taking this TV? Now this character here wants to take home a flat screen for the price of a box set TV. Why? Because she said so. Her logic leaves all the employees dazed and confused. Excuse you. No, excuse you. I need my TV. You want this TV, it's a hundred. Why those not out here? Why he just brought this out here? Why does, I want one of these flat screen TVs. Perfect, a hundred bucks. No, let's take the sand down. You're not gonna touch it. Let's take the damn sand down. Don't, don't touch me. Damn! TV, fake Things escalate to where this woman is now starting to be rude to Seth himself in his own store like she owns the place. She even goes as far as to say she wants her TV. But Seth is ice cold, Mr. Impenetrable. Keep walking. No. Keep walking. Man, y'all. Whatever, dog. Whatever. Kiss my ass. It's big, too, ain't it? Big, fat ass for you to kiss. Y'all. Kiss my mother ass. Bitch. She has herself walked out with so much disgrace that even the bodyguard is embarrassed. And he doesn't shy away from throwing a jab or two her way either, while his boss plays it completely cool and collected. Glass watch. Where are you going, boss? Man. I'm Les. Philip, nice to meet you, sir. You made the wrong turn, got robbed, took and everything, dude. All uh, my cash. Trying to get some money so I can sure. get back to California. Three, four hundred bucks just to get on a plane or a bus. But it wasn't worth the kind of money that he was asking for. Finally, we have a client who walks in respectfully and shakes Les by the hand before he goes off on his woes and pains. This poor guy wants to sell his last remaining belongings to make some money. Bad news is, those aren't diamonds in it. It's glass. I can go 80 bucks. 80 bucks ain't even gonna give me a bus ride, bro. But I'm gonna give you 80 because I like your story. But that's not all. As if this guy's story wasn't sad enough, Les has one more truth bomb for him that may just sweep the floor from right under this poor guy. So getting robbed is a good story. No. And you guys robbed me. Trying to give me 80 bucks for my watch. Detroit, man. This ain't gonna happen in Orange County, man. And you're garbage, man. We did say we feel for him. That is until he does what he does next. Guess Les rubbed him the wrong way and we get that. But then he starts to get personal about it, insulting Les's hometown. Come on, man, give me something better than 80 bucks. It's 80. I gave him an $80 offer. People who are here are garbage and you're garbage, man. Cause we'll you up back to Detroit way. Side, give me man. my watch. No, get your hands off me. No one's gonna with Detroit. In the D, we are all tough. Get the out of our store. <laughs>